In the previous video, we learned how we can configure our own machine with MITM proxy so that we can intercept the request and the response that came back from the server and then inject some malicious JavaScript code into it. Now the thing to note here is that our machine acted as both the attacker and victim. Now this is not an ideal case. We need to extend this attack to a real victim within the same network. So how are we going to achieve that? The first step is to become the man in the middle in the network. You can either use Edacap or Betacap, but in this video we are going to be using Betacap. Now as soon as we become the man in the middle, all the requests that the victim sends to the server will have to be redirected to our own machine and then we will be sending it to the server. But here is the catch, all the HTTP request comes at port 80 and MITM proxy works at port 8080. So how are we going to redirect all the requests from port 80 to port 8080? For that, we are going to be modifying the IP tables of our attacker's machine. And after configuring the IP tables, the request will be now sent to port 8080 where MITM proxy is running. And from there, we can send it to the server. And the response that comes, we can edit it using MITM proxy. And then send back the malicious response to the victim. This is how we are going to achieve JavaScript injection in real victim. Alright, so let's just go ahead and implement what we learned. The first step is to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi network over which you want to perform the attack. Now afterwards, you need to become the root user. Now as soon as you hit ls, you can see those three files from MITM proxy. Now before I execute MITM web, we need to become the man in the middle. That's the first step. So let's, so let's just go ahead and do that. In this case, I'll be using Betacap instead of Etacap because I find it much easier. Well, you can use any tool you want, Etacap, App Spoof, it's your wish. Now, I won't be explaining in detail what I'm doing right now because I already covered a video on how you can become the man in the middle using Betacap. So anyways, the important thing that you need to note is that a mobile screen that you can see on the right hand side is the victim. And I'm going to be performing a man in the middle attack over that victim. So here I'm setting the options like app spoof full duplex to true and app spoof targets and the target IP address and afterwards we are going to execute the app spoof. Cool, now our victim is getting app spoofed and we have now become the man in the middle. Now let me just go back and execute MITM web. So for that type dot forward slash MITM web and then hit enter and this will open up a listener at port 8081 and as you can see the listener has opened up now if i minimize this you can see the proxy is running at port 8080 now we need to configure the ip table right because all the traffic http traffic is coming to port 80 and we need to redirect it to port 8080 for that we have to now create an ip table now i have opened up a new terminal and let me switch to the root user because being a root user is really important. Now I'll be typing IP tables space hyphen T space NAT space hyphen L and this will list all the IP tables at NAT network. And as you can see the pre-routing is not set. So we're gonna add a new IP table rule. For that type IP tables space hyphen T NAT space hyphen capital A space in capitals pre-routing space hyphen p space the protocol which is tcp space hyphen j and then we need to redirect all the requests from port 80 so that's why destination would be port 80 to port 8080 where our mitm proxy is running now as soon as you hit enter this particular ip table rule will be set now if i type ip tables hyphen t nat hyphen capital l you can see that under the pre-routing section we have an ip table rule now all the requests that's coming at port 80 will be redirected to port 8080 where our proxy is running. Now let me open back the web listener. Now on the right hand side the victim is typing say he wants to go to an HTTP login page and as soon as he clicks on the website which is the first link you can see on the left hand side that the MITM proxy has actually caught the request which is amazing right? Now I can actually go ahead and intercept the request and make some changes. So let me make an intercept rule as learned in the previous video. I'll be using the BS rejects which is response body and then here I'll be typing the conical bracket slash body. Now 
the intercept rule has been set let me clear the screen now on the right hand side we are going to reload the page and as you can see we have intercepted the request now let me go ahead and edit the response as we learned in the previous video so let me go to the response tab click on the edit button at the top right corner and then drag all the way down and after the slash body tag we are gonna be performing a javascript injection now for the purpose of this video i'll be just creating a simple alert but if you're interested to learn more advanced javascript code injections don't worry the next videos will cover that we're gonna be learning how we can perform real world attacks over the victim these alerts are not gonna take us anywhere right cool so here i created a simple script which which is gonna alert nowhere to hide text over the victim now let me go ahead and click on the check button right over there and now let me resume the flow now before i do that let me clear the intercept tag so that it does not keep on intercepting new requests cool now let me go ahead and resume the flow and as you can see on the right hand side the alert nowhere to hide has been shown now here if you observe carefully there is one disadvantage as long as we are editing on our mitm proxy on the right hand side the victim is not gonna get the response it will be still in buffering mode and we don't need that this might cause suspicion and also confusion right so we need to automate the whole process so in order to automate the whole process we need to first of all close this mitm web listener and then also close the proxy and instead we are going to be using mitm dump so let me go ahead and hit ls and here you can see mitm dump so we'll be using that to automate the whole process so let's just e execute it by typing dot forward slash mitm dump and i will pass in the help parameter to view all the options available and here we will be using the modify body pattern tag or simply the hyphen b or hyphen capital b to be precise pattern cool now i'll be telling you what this actually does in a moment so let's just follow what i'm doing right now let's first of all type dot forward slash mitm dump then hyphen capital b to use the modify body tag and then we will be first of all passing the flow filter but before i do that we need to have a delimiter for that i'll be using colon instead of forward slash and then afterwards we'll be passing in the flow filter in our case we use the tilde bs flow filter in web ui right so we'll be using that and then we'll be using a colon and afterwards we'll be passing in the rejects so here i'll be passing in slash body i'll be explaining what it does in a moment but right now just follow along now afterwards we'll be adding one more colon and then the replacement in our case we'll be typing again slash body and then the javascript code that we are injecting now what this particular code does is it's basically is looking for all the request which has a slash body in its response and then it's gonna basically replace the slash body with the script that we are typing right over here i'll go through this command once again the tilde bs means we are going to be using the response body the slash body tag will be used for interception and that particular slash body tag will be replaced by this particular script right that we have written right over here and as soon as you hit enter we see that we have an error it says invalid filter pattern in essence what happens is mitm does, dump does not have the tilde bs instead it has the simple tilde s both of them are the same so don't worry now let's go ahead and hit enter and as you can see the proxy is now running at port 8080 now let's go back to our victim and reload the page and as you can see the alert tag that we wrote has now appeared we did we did not go open the web ui interface or listener whatever it was and we did not have to edit it it's automatically doing it on the go that's the power of automation now if i go ahead and click on another link let's say browse artist there you go that particular script is being run again and again cool now we have learned how we can automate this process to create a simple alert tag now let me point it out right here that in this video i just told you about how we can hook the victim with mitm proxy now the real fun is gonna begin from the next video onwards where we are gonna learn about real world attacks that we can use on the victim great 
now we are gonna revert everything what all we have done and let me just list ip tables hyphen t nat hyphen l and as you can see there is this ip table here so we're gonna remove that ip tables for that type ip tables hyphen t nat space hyphen hyphen flush and this will flush all the nat rules that we have created and now if i once again list the nat rules and as you can see that particular rule has been deleted now we need to close the proxy and then finally we are gonna exit from being the man in the middle cool now we have learned how we can hook the victim to mitm proxy now in the next video and onwards we are gonna be learning how we can actually inject some malicious javascript code and hack the victim in real world so stay tuned for that video and i'll see you in the next lecture